Hello dear people and welcome to yet another exciting episode about War Thunder gameplay. And today we will be playing with none other than the Spitfire Mark IIa. Now if you're new to the game I highly recommend this aircraft. I recommend it as a starting point. And then from that point you can move on to more demanding aircraft. But first let's see will this bomber burn out? Do we have to intervene? We didn't have to. Just a small burst just to scare him off a bit. And he is burning up and he burned out. So it was a good call not to engage it any further. We would just steal a kill from our teammate and that is a no no, please don't do that. If you see an enemy plane burning after the engagement by your teammate, leave it alone. That's the best thing you can do and focus on other targets. Because you have to act like a gentleman when flying one of the British planes. That command is written in the RIF manual supplied to all the pilots out in the fields. Hmm, <coughs> probably. But let's get back to the game. We can see two enemy attackers below us. A JU-87 and a Dornier 217. The Stuka is an easy prey for our Spitfire. But the Dornier came flying in with bullets spraying all over the place. Never engage that type of aircraft in a head-on. You can easily outmaneuver it later on. As it is seen in this example. But that rear gunner of his is quite dangerous. So it is best not to stay too long on his tail. But I have stayed a bit too long. We scored a critical hit, got his right angel on fire and we should have backed out. But we haven't. The aircraft is out. But we are leaking oil and water so we have to RTB. But will we make it to the base in time? We shall see. The airspace is filled with enemy fighters. Especially BF-109s. But we do have energy advantage over this one. So the idea is to take him out quickly and free the airspace so we can safely proceed towards our base. And it is done so. Our third kill. But that leaking oil and water are practically luring the enemy fighters towards us. It is like a blood trail of a wounded animal. And the predatory enemies have picked up on its scent. I went full David Ottenborough on this one. But nevertheless, let's continue with the game. Have you noticed that little red dot that appeared on the radar on the minimap? Well, I was trying to pretend not to see it and hope that it will go away, but it hasn't. It came in fast and engaged us and we have to engage in a turn fight. Our engine is, is in a poor state, but we should be able to outturn a BF-109. We are a Spitfire, god damn it. We are losing flaps, but we are gaining momentum. We are scoring some critical hits and we should be able to finish him off. You simply do not engage in a turn fight with a Spitfire in a BF-109. It will cost you. And it will cost you dearly, it is just a matter of time. And the BF-109's time is out. Our fourth kill. But our engine is not getting any better. We have to get to the base as soon as possible. The temperatures are extremely high of oil and water and we are leaking all over the place. But the enemies simply won't let us end this peacefully. And here comes another one. Now I accept a head on. Because I thought I was going down anyhow. It was a bit of a luck on our side. We have scored critical hits. And he went down. Making it our fifth kill. Making the Spitfire Mark II a an ace. Hooray! And hopefully now we should be able to land peacefully. Finally. But you have seen the capabilities of this truly magnificent aircraft. It is an excellent brilliant turner. It is pretty pretty fast. Not the fastest in his BAR but is decently fast. But a few tips when you're fighting BF-109s. It can outrun you, it can outclimb you, 
but it cannot outturn you. Turning engagements are definitely your forte against the BF109s. And if you're new to War Thunder, if you're playing on a lower BR, definitely use this aircraft to learn some basics, some principles of re air realistic battles. And then move on to more demanding aircraft. But I assure you, you will come back to this Spitfire because it is just super fun to play. I know I always come back to it. So that is all for today. I hope you have liked the video. And if you have, please press like, subscribe and share. And if you haven't, please do it also because you are a wonderful person. Until the next time, have a fantastic day.